want to go over a little tidbit on arm action, arm positioning during the pitching motion. We teach a lot of kids for years now to get the ball back facing second base or the shortstop. Well, actually, that sets a pitcher up for shoulder and elbow injuries long term. So what would actually look like a short arm is actually a good arm angle to be in. So you actually want to keep that elbow bent and keep it flexed through the entire throwing motion to when you're at foot strike, that ball, your hand, is inside a 90 degree angle. You don't want it to be out here. Reason being, here's a difference. An extended arm has this much wiggle room. A flexed arm has this much wiggle room. So you get all this range of motion versus this. What that does, when you have that flex, it takes tension out of the shoulder and the elbow. Whereas this puts tension in the shoulder and the elbow. So remember, keeping that elbow flexed all through the throwing motion is going to save elbow and shoulder.